What's up, y'all? We are back with another video. What type of video? Today, I will be showing y'all my horror collection. Yes, finally, guys. Y'all been requesting this. Y'all been wanting me to do it. It's been literally a long, long time since I did a horror collection video. So this right here is my 2024 horror collection video. I was going to wait because I had some crazy pieces on the way. And I'm going to give y'all a rundown. So basically... I'm not gonna be pulling everything out because I have a lot of stuff, and um, you just gonna you know be showing everything that I have as a horror collector, the stuff that I got along this journey of being a horror collector. And to be honest, I pretty much started collecting about five years ago. I think like five or four years ago, and um, it just grew over time. We all, if you're watching this video right now, you obviously collect horror, and you know how it is with this horror addiction and stuff. It gets crazy sometimes, but yeah, a lot of you guys requested this. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna get a Scary Family Collection video tour, man. They've been asking for so long, so here it is. And uh, before we get into it, definitely smash the like button because it definitely helps. And I tell y'all what, I make y'all a bet. If this video just gets, you know, a ton of love, you know, showing me that y'all want more of the horror collection, you know, involved with the channel, how we used to do back in the day when we started I Like Scary. Because to be honest, Horror collecting is what got me on the platform, to be honest. It was horror collecting. Just my obsession with collecting horror and wanting to get the things that we've seen in our favorite movies be in my hand and in my collection. That was pretty much how the obsession started with me collecting horror and wanting to see new pieces and things from our favorite horror film. So I've been hearing a lot of you guys say you want to go back to unboxings, you know, sometimes and, you know, showing pieces and talking about my favorite pieces in the collection. I'll tell you what, if this video gets a lot of love, like my previous horror collection videos and unboxings, y'all, it's going to come back full blown, just unboxings. We're going to do them and just get into a lot of these pieces I have. So definitely smash that like button and just show this video some love, y'all. We got a lot to get into, so, uh... Let's definitely get into it, y'all. Let's go. So, y'all, right now, I'm about to start with this side of the room. Remember, I cannot get the airy thing, but I'm going to literally try my best. And, um, yeah, maybe, if, like I said, this video gets a lot of love. I can do a more in-depth, you know, tour, just pulling things out. I can prepare for it. But you guys have literally been asking me for so long, so we got to get into it. But here we go. Starting off, we have a Haddonfield sign that I think I got this from Spirit of Halloween. You guys know how Spirit is. We all love Spirit of Halloween. Um, Now, this was something very cool that I ended up doing. This is a decal that I ended up getting from a horror store. I forgot the name of the store, but it was in a mall. And they had like the red rum stick. I had to get that. I just automatically just me doing that, I feel, just changes this from just a regular door to a horror prop you see what i'm saying especially i mean i put the hide and fill up because i have nowhere else to put it um i'm like you know what but it did take away from you know the door just being like the shining door and got hide from the top but who who cares you know i'm running out of space um we got my halloween poster on the door got my guy byron winton's art right there i think that's cool i have you know you probably can't see that because it's a little dark but I actually have like a Halloween knife from Spirit. And here is the Key and Myers match from Trick or Treat Studios. Here's a picture of when I met Danielle Harris. And right here is another like vacuum mask I got from, I think it was, was it Trick or Treat? No, I think it was probably Trick or Treat or Spirit. That's another Spirit of Halloween sign. And this right here probably can't see it this is like a newspaper from nightmare on elm street i got this from a guy when i first started collecting and um he does great work you're gonna see some more of these throughout the collection and here's a picture of me at a convention right there that's me me and alex vincent from um child's play big shout out to my guy jason atmosen this is one of his pieces. I love this piece. I got it custom framed from Michaels. This is Jason Edmondson's General Ortega Wednesday piece. And this is something that I ended up getting as a gift. Uh, I forget the artist's name. Don't butcher me, guys. I forget his name, but he has an Etsy store. He does amazing art, and his art actually speaks for itself. So I'm pretty sure you guys know who he is. 
but uh it's a cool unique piece another piece from my guy byron Wenton, favorite final girl Lori stroll tommy doyle Lindsay. i love this piece right here man just because it just feels like so halloween you see the reflection but it just feels like halloween look at that if you can see it shout out to my guy byron man byron wayne one of my favorite artists chris duran um autograph that i got from actually a horror collector store the uh this cashier I'll tell y'all a cool story about this so i was at a horror collectible store and a cashier saw me looking for michael meyer pieces and she was asking me i need help i'm like yeah i need i want some, i'm trying to look for some michael pieces and then eventually uh, I couldn't find nothing, but she did just give it to me. It was an autograph. She didn't even know who he was. I had to tell her who he was, but she said that she ended up getting this autograph, and uh, I took it. I mean, why not? So, and then we have the the Leprechaun life size, the Leprechaun life size that I put together. Now, let me fix this. I probably just knocked it off, the, but I put this together um, with monster man that's the guy who did that i remember his name monster man uh he does mask i don't know if he still does leprechaun but i had seen his mask and i'm like bro i want that mask i don't see too much stuff for warwick davis's leprechaun i need it and i decided to you know make a leprechaun a life-size leprechaun you know kind of put some things together and i made you know a horse fan dream come true of you know especially being a leprechaun uh fan I put it together with some PCP pipe and a lot of tweaking. So there it is, Leprechaun. And then I made that pumpkin right there, 78 pumpkin. Just wanted to show you all that. But we have them, the mascot of the channel. We have my life size 2018 Michael Myers. And this guy. Let me tell y'all, he's been here since <laughs> day one of I Like Scary. And if you follow the channel, like I said, the old days, he's always stood tall on the channel. A lot of you guys always compliment him. But look, when I first started, I'm going to tell you guys something. I didn't know too much about, you know, when it came to like each and every detail of like just putting together a life size. And, you know, I kind of just put it together and people were like, oh, my God, it's crazy. I'm going to tell you right now, this could definitely be better. I love it. But uh, eventually when I get some time. I do have, you know, work right coveralls and everything, and I have a crazy Halloween 2018 mask I want to put on there that's better. I'll upgrade, but I learned a lot of stuff along my journey as being, you know, a horror collector and a Michael Myers fan, and yes, it's nice, but it can definitely be better. That's all I'm going to say, but I still love it, man. That's standout piece, and then, believe it or not, this is my halloween ends rehaul my personal copy that i did myself if you guys know i like scary you know i have my hand in rehauls here and there when i'm free and stuff like that um this is the true color of the mask no editing so that's my halloween ends personal copy that i had put together uh last year and um i love it i really do i really like how that is coming well it came out i have something else that's going to be related to halloween ends coming to the uh, collection that I will be having this mask next to so you guys stay tuned for that and I have a exorcist black light poster that I got from a convention and um this artist was amazing man he was breaking down to me well you know the concept and everything of this poster but it definitely kind of has a glow to him. I'm gonna show you guys uh actually that at the end of the video not right now I'm gonna have to cut the lights down and go from there but and then also this is a Halloween hat I got from Horror Nights, one of my favorite places in the world. This back here, it's like it's like a ghost face plush. It's a ghost face plush right back here, just sitting back there. Um, this is this is one. This is not like a ultra. This is not like a Gen Two or no shit like that. This is just like a regular ghost face mask. I think I got just from um, Spirit or something. And like I said, I can't show y'all everything because a lot of shit is just man. But this right here. Is another piece that's been on the channel for a while that right there is my life-size Valak from the conjuring series if you follow the channel you know I'm a huge fan of the conjuring universe I love paranormal movies and you know films and stuff but this was actually 
Oh, actually, this was my first life size I actually ever put together. It wasn't Michael. I didn't, I was on the way to getting the things from Michael Myers, but uh, this was actually my first life size I put together of uh, Valak. And uh, it, came, it came out so nice. I will never give this piece up. I love that. It went all out. I got the cross and everything. And that's another standout piece a lot of you guys talk about. So, um, yeah. And I got some cool posters. Favorite TV show of all time, Stranger Things. Got like a Chucky plaque I got from uh, Spirit. Another, man, Byron, bro. I got a lot of your work here. This is my guys Byron's uh, artwork. Andy and Chucky. Got a Fright Night autograph back there kind of hiding. Bro, we're about to actually be uh, moving here soon. So you're going to be able to see a lot of stuff with the house we're going to be getting. But uh, this is my Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Warriors poster autographed by Robert Anglin. Let me see if I can brighten that up. Look, autographed by Robert Anglin right there. And uh, this is my... My, my baby right here. This is my Scream poster that has almost the whole cast, except like Courtney Cox, David Arquette, you know, things like that. But I, it's, it's getting there, y'all. It is getting there. I could have met David Arquette, but I actually decided not to go. This is another one you guys always see, but this is nothing special, really. I mean, this is the wife's, uh, for real. She loves Killer Clowns. I do, too, but this is Shorty. You guys know who Shorty is. This is Shorty right here. Um, he's an animatronic. He's not plugged in right now. He is fucking huge. So eventually he might get packed up. I don't know, but, uh, he's huge and he actually is autographed. If you can see a little bit by the Kyoto brothers on the back of his head. So that's a real cool piece. And, um, down here is some of her little stuff autographed by Slim. From Spirit. The rug. A lot of her stuff is stacked. Look. Killer clowns. Like I said, I need space, but let me tell y'all something. As collectors, y'all understand my pain right now. Like, damn, so But as a collector, you would understand my pain. We all run out of space eventually, and I'm going through that right now. So I even have, I'm going to just say this. I have the parts and pieces for three life sizes that needs to be put together. And they're big IP horror slashers. And, um... I just gotta wait. I gotta wait. Uh, I got you know horror collector happy. I noticed like damn, I run out of space. So, but this is a '78 rehaul that I did a couple years ago. I can do better. Like I said, I don't care too much about this one. I'm thinking about getting a Nag uh, '78 mask. I'm a big fan of Nag's works. Nag's work, as you will see here later in the video. Um, so yeah, '78. This is a statue from Spirit. You guys probably know what that is. Chucky Neca figure. 18 inch 2018 Michael. We have the cat mask from Halloween Ends. Allison's autograph. I got the meet Andy Matichek. Amazing. And these are some magazines and stuff back there. But uh that's uh the Funko, the Myers House Funko. And yeah. As we get down here, I'm gonna tell you guys this. I have to change out my lights. I'm going to tell you, I am not one of those guys that can just wire a whole fucking detox case. I just can't. Um, so I have puck lights and I change them out. I got remote control puck lights, but I've not been up to changing the batteries. But I am thinking of going the wire route. But I just actually changed my whole room around for, you know, just the collectible's sake and just trying to see more of my collectibles. But. Uh, I haven't got a chance to, you know, do the wiring and stuff like that. But I actually have the wires. I just never got a chance to do them. So, uh, let me move this out the way. So, this right here. Let me kind of bring a little bit more light over here. All right, this is probably better. But, so this right here is my 78 Dio with my 1.6 from Trick or Treat. I actually make these. Uh, this is the hedge scene that i put together uh, this was the very first one i ever made so i just kept it basically this is like the prototype or whatever i made but it's very detailed man to be honest you know it comes down to the grass the leaves let me show you guys a little more of the detailing like all the way down to the grass and the cracks of it but this is ha this has upgraded 
so much since I did one. This is my very first one, and um, I did some. Now I use different material, different foam, and it's super cool. So this is old, but this is something I actually always thought was cool. So this right here, if it can focus, is a mini portrait of Lori, young Lori in 78 that I actually got gifted to me from a guy um in the horror group i used to be in but uh yeah so this is a piece that came actually with the trick-or-treat studios pack it came with like the coveralls and the tombstone or judith myers tombstone and yeah shout out to my guy blake it's my guy right there my guy blake I actually gave me these at age 45 um this is these are the bob glasses autograph so shout out to my guy for sure Gotta love my guy Blake. And this is one of my rehauls, my earlier rehauls. This is the Kills rehaul. And um, I think I went a little crazy on the yellow. I could do way better now. But I actually got an autograph by James Drew Courtney. And uh, yeah, very cool piece. Shout out to my guy Ryan Harper, man. Still, still love my guy Ryan Harper, bro. He man, he was one of the ones in the game that, bro, his 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 let me tell y'all about Ryan. Bro, you know, I'm not too in big into, like, uh, you know, sculpting things. I know it's very hard. But when I tell y'all, a lot of shit that Ryan did, man, like, his sculpting, his one six sculpts, it was just amazing, bro. Like, how he can get into the creases, and it looks like, actually, Michael is insane. And next to him, I so shout out to Ryan, but next to him, I have a Juan's custom piece right there. So shout out to my guy Juan's Custom. He actually gave me that at age 45. Appreciate both of these guys doing great things for the community. Um, got a Halloween NECA figure right there. Halloween Kills, actually, be exact. And we have a Bob Michael Myers, Bob She Michael. And this right here, this Bob Michael, fun fact, is the Sideshow. This is the Sideshow. I, I loved how Sideshow did their Bob. But the scope was uh it was alright. So I used the sideshow Michael for Bob and got a you know a Royal Bobbles. I want to say Bobblehead that's from Royal Bobbles. And then I have a 2018 Michael right there, 2018 Michael. And behind that, I never showed you guys this, but I have Halloween 2018 actually on VHS, bro. And the cover on that is super cool. Um, so and then we have Halloween 516, and then we have Halloween 4 with the leaves right there. The 1 6 figures from Trick or Treat. So, this is pretty much like a Michael Detoff. I need to get me some more Michael. <laughs> Can't get enough Michael, man. Halloween. So, and this is just a whole lot of, you know, little things I can kind of show y'all real quick, but I'm going to start at the top. So, this is one of my. Halloween kills rehauls I did older. This one was ah, I didn't like this one. So I you know I just threw the cap on there from um HHN. Got the Corey Scarecrow. And we have the Chris Nelson Officer Francis head. So it goes across the the bookshelf. But uh here's some autos up here. Gotta love Millie Bobby Brown, one of my favorites. Lavender Stranger Things. My favorite final girl, Jamie Lee Curtis, Lori Strode. Y'all Scout Taylor Compton, Tyler Main, Jamie Lloyd, Daniel Harris. We got David Howard Thornton. We'll get to that over there. But right here is the nerd shelf is what I call it. So this is basically uh, my Stranger Things, my little Stranger Things collection. Well, I just got a nice high Stranger Things collection. Stranger Things just don't put out a lot of things when it comes to, like, you know, figures, really. But, um... This is actually one, a Bandai, I want to say I got from Target. This is a pop-up book. Uh, these are some Sour Patches from the Stranger Things promotion. And then behind this is basically, let me see if I can show y'all. Only because I love y'all, man. Let me see. Uh, so look, it's basically oh, more... I got the whole collection. You can see back there, I got Will. You see 11. There's got a lot going on with this shelf. And 
I'm actually about to have a stream here soon, so I don't want to take too much out. But it's pretty much all these. These are, I want to say they're from, uh, I forget the brand of those. But when they dropped, I had to have them all. I got all of them, man. And got some comics, some Stranger Things comics right here. As you see, Scoops Ahoy. And like I said, remember, y'all, if this video gets a lot of love, I promise y'all, through the screen, we shake on it. I will do a more in-depth uh, horror collection. I have a shit. Look, I'm going to tell y'all right, right now. When I Look, the reason I had to switch my room around was because I had, like, space, bro. I had to switch it around. So, I had to put a lot of my stuff that I didn't d decide to unbox yet in storage. Like, in my storage closet. And I have so much. I got mask figures that I wanted just because I'm like, God, these can't sell out on me. Of course, we all know how that is. But I never actually, you know, got down to unbox them. That's why I said, y'all. We might have a, if we decide to just start by getting into like horror collectibles, like I, I'm, I'm never leaving horror collectibles. I'm talking like real life, just doing the videos, unboxing and showcasing my pieces. Bro, I have a shit ton of stuff to show y'all. Plus some crazy pieces come in, man. So, um, here's some little knickknacks, horror nights cup, my first horror nights cup, a lot of little stranger things. I got the Ghostbusters set back there. Uh, Millie Bobby Brown actually gave me these two things. So I will never open them. I think that's very special. She handed me and the wife uh, her coffee. And um, these rocks, fun fact, or from the Michael Jackson Thriller locations. This is from the exact wall. <laughs> I know it sounds cringy that he actually was sitting on, well, like, yeah, landing on with the zombie. So uh, that's uh, AM, I think Centermark or AMC Stream 6 Cup. Maybe I can pull this over here and it'll be more cool. So, yeah. We have the It Chapter 2 Pennywise NECA figure. And we have this cool thing right here. Battery's going dead. But I got these from Spirit. Annabelle. Uh, got an old school Beetlejuice figure right there. Uh, from NECA that I ended up getting lucky on. From a flea market, actually. I think I only paid like... Oh, yeah, $25. Yeah, right there. So, here's Lost Boy, a Lost Boy's NECA figure, David, one of my favorite vampire movies. And then, we pretty much, let me show y'all, I just have so much shit back here. Uh, I forget the brand of these, but I have a damn near shit ton of these, actresses, candy, man, I even have the Jeepers Creepers one. So, I know you guys want to see the big shit, so, this is just, I look, another thing I will say is that, Hold up one second, guys. Bear with me. It's a lot going on. But one thing I will say is that I look, I used to love connect collecting the NECA 8-inch figures. I don't know, man, if I'm still into those. Uh I mean, maybe I you gotta it got it has to be a great figure. Like that scream, I want to say it's the screamers figure that Trick or Treat just came out with that 78 Michael. Who wouldn't get that? You know what I'm saying? Uh I will get a Lori. I love Lori Stroll. I will hope they will give us a Lori here soon, but you know how that goes. Uh, Trick or Treat NECA. Got the Leprechaun Funko. Um, got a, what's this? Oh, Ghostface NECA right there. See what I'm saying, man? I start pulling shit out, and then, yeah, I start pulling shit out, and then it, that happens. But uh, on the next shelf, we have... Shout out to, I think his name was Crazy Saint. He actually did the I Like Scary logo and converter from a 78 mask. There's the Jigsaw uh, popcorn bucket from Saw 10. And we have it. The Hunted Mask from Goosebumps from Trick or Treat Studios. Gotta love it, gotta love it. And uh thing. But like I said, y'all, we can't get into everything. I got a lot of stuff to show y'all. Um. Okay, so right here we have... A Halloween 4 shadow box that I actually created like two years ago, man. I even put that decal on the box of young Jamie and Michael. Got a Halloween 4 mask right there. Bobble, Halloween Bobble 2018. And this right here is pretty much just some more Halloween uh, NECA figures. Got all the Halloween NECA figures. Got a book, 4K DVD. Autograph, some cups from H45 by Fright Rags, Bobble. Got a lot of those bobbleheads that they dropped. 
And um, yeah, here's some more. Shout out to my guy. I don't know why I love this so much. My guy Terry got me this. Man, I really like that. I think, you know, Lori's on it, but got the art book back there. Got the Nag Nano Force figures unopened. There goes, there's a 78, eight inch from Trick or Treat. And shout out to Larry and Kirsten for giving me that cool piece. It sits right here, man. And got the bobble, got some two Horror Night cups. And uh, back here, let me see if I can show y'all. I might, because that's a cool piece to have, so I might as well show y'all this one. But uh, these are some socks. <laughs> this right here is cool. I actually got this from Horror Nights, but these are some socks actually in the coffin. I got them just to have them, I didn't even open them. So, but this right here is an autograph NECA Rob Zombie. Um, Michael Myers figure. This is actually one of the first figures I ever got as a horror fan when I was younger. I got it from FYE when I was younger and I took it out the pack and I did some silly shit and I was playing like it was a fucking John Cena or an Undertaker and I lost a lot of the pieces. So, and right here I have the Halloween three season or the witch mask. Uh, I love these masks, you know, super nostalgic from trigger tree studios. I think they don't even carry these no more. I think they're about to get the Don post ones going. So, uh, yeah, we have a Be Eating You sign from Jeepers Creepers. Got that from Spirit. Got Slim. Got some Jason NECA. And, uh, yeah, we got some more NECA down here. We have Gremlins. Uh, and, yeah, we got some cups. And I have some pillows, too, some cool pillows that I have nowhere to put. I have Pennywise. Got these from a horror store years ago. Got Halloween 2, and I got one with all of them on there, so. That is the shelf. That's the shelf right there, so. Uh, that's the shelves. I'm going to show y'all this, too, so. This right here is my Lost Boys poster, signed by Jason Patrick. What's crazy is I actually met Kiefer Sutherland. Well, I saw Kiefer Sutherland, you know, said... He was cool. He was standing in waiting to go into like an auditorium in Florida. And um, I was at a convention. I, didn't, I just didn't get the autograph. I was trying to meet Andy Matichek, so I could have got it. But maybe I will in the future. Maybe it was my loss. But Jason Patrick signed the Lost Boys poster. We got a popcorn bucket. And we have my Chucky, my NECA Chucky in the corner, man. He's in the corner chilling in his box. And uh, we got my guy Steven LaRose Holiday's artwork over here, chilling. This is a banner, a Halloween Ends banner. See, I got posters and shit, man. It's crazy. I have a Tony Todd autograph up there. And then this is where a lot of my horror celebrity portraits are. Bonnie Aarons, Lynn Shea, Danielle Harris, Scott Taylor Compton. It goes on. Millie Bobby Brown. And yeah. All right, y'all, so we're going to go to the other side of the room. Oh, I got to show y'all this. I even, did I show y'all this? This is my boy Byron shit. So I actually uh, got these two pictures from Byron, and I put them in a frame like that. So we have 78, and we have 2018. So, man, I love Byron's work, bro. Super, you know, detailed. Shout out to Byron. But, um, all right, this is the next side, pretty much. Here's some detox. These are some of my big pieces in glass. And it goes all the way up like this. So. And then I'm going to start over here. But we're going to get into the cases. I have the Beetlejuice Tombstone with the Beetlejuice poster right there. I got that from Spirit. Halloween Kills poster autographed by James Jew Courtney. I have an it poster on the door, losers plaque, and it goes from there. So I'm gonna start right here at the top. Now we definitely can't get into all this. I had to literally stack shit, man. Like I'm running. This is how it looks in my look. I'm gonna show y'all. No lie, this is how it looks in my storage. But shit is in cardboard boxes. It's just stacked. Um, I have so much shit, bro. I swear, like seriously, everything's just stacked, bro. Like this in the storage. For unbox, I gotta get to these unboxes, man. I just be getting them because I'm afraid that man, they'll never make that again. I have that disease 
where you know whatever you want to call it where i'm like bro that shit's never coming out again i gotta get it i gotta get it it's gonna sell out but now you know collect i'm gonna take the time to say this collecting is not like really the same anymore man you know like i used to i still love collecting but bro i used to be on it bro i still get shit but now the way collecting is it's nothing's rare for real anymore you know what i'm saying i'm not saying it's a bad thing it's actually very much cool nothing's rare for real anymore unless you know it's a certain piece um and i feel like it takes a lot for me to buy a piece and i have to i don't i used to just get things but i now i'm in this part where i just get a lot of things that i love and i mean i love everything horror so it just takes a lot for me to get something now um i'm into like bigger pieces now if that makes sense i try to get like bigger things like museum like pieces like similar to michael i like life size shit uh you see Lori back there um been been you know rocking out with my guy nag and stuff like that and yeah man i'm starting to get big i want big pieces that really looks like it you know it's from the film or some shit like i said it's nothing knocking anyone with NECA, but i feel like that's what i started with with NECA. so now i want to get big pieces uh something else that i will be getting is that megan that NECA megan uh doll so that's another big piece i'll be getting for sure and like I said, I got some cool pieces coming on the way. They are uh, going to be shipped here soon. I'll be doing a video on them. So, to get into this, we have some more NECA, Texas Chainsaw. Got a Funko over there. I'm going to try to play I Spy. Uh, got a scary movie, Telling the Dark set. Got some Total Film magazines uh, from Halloween, unopened. Uh... Creep show back there, a Beetlejuice statue. Like, I legit cannot take this shit down. That's why I said, show this video love. I'll take that shit down for y'all. We can go through everything. Uh, Halloween ends. NECA, Chucky Bobble right here. Uh, Art the Clown. Got some Art Krispies from the Terrifier store. Autographed. Chucky did it. Alex Vincent uh, autographed that. And then we have the 18 inch Michael, Michael Myers, 18 inch Michael Myers figure. That's super cool. Then I have this, I think it's from Mezco, the little big kid Michael. And fun fact, this is actually uh, the Halloween Lives mask. This is the Halloween Lives mask with some tweaks and stuff. So it's a 2018 technically. So, you know, it's 2018 rehaul. But uh, there you go. Got a Freddy up there. Haunted Mask 2. And this is from Longshore. This is the first Goosebumps Haunted Mask I got. I was on a hunt for that. What's up? What's up? Y'all know what that is. Got Shorty back there. We got like posters and shit. Look, you can see Nancy creeping through. That's another one of my guys' pieces. Byron. And here we go. Let's get into some of the detoffs. Let's see what we got. So, right here, we have my Stranger Things shelf. So, this is from, I think this is from, uh, what's the name of the fucking? Oh, 3 0. So, I have Eleven, and I have Dustin, and I have the Demogorgon. I will begin the rest of the cast here soon. So, love Stranger Things. And then I have the Halloween 2 1 6 figure from Trick or Treat Studios. And I have Pennywise. I'm going to say that's from 3 0. Got that also with the gutter and all of that. I have Art the Clown. And then we have Freddy Krueger with his homeboy, Jason. So look, Freddy Krueger and Jason on the bottom. And, uh,. Here we go. Let's, let's keep moving. Oh, we have the Sam statue from Trick or Treat. That lights up. That's super cool. But we have the PCS Meyer statue. This is the one that a lot of people cancel pre-orders on and stuff like that because of the hair. I like it. I know the coveralls look a little different. This was the first expensive piece that I bought. Um, it ain't too expensive, but it's expensive. So especially if you're a new collector and shit like that. But yeah, got it in good condition. Got the Judith Myers tombstone from uh, Spirit. And then back here, these little figures right here. I mean, if you collect, you know what those are. Those are fright rag, little fright rag figures back there. 
And this right here is a very cool piece that I have. So this is a Michael Jackson Thriller 1-6 with a custom diorama base. The hand is coming out the gutter. Shout out to my guy Matt who did this on um, the garbage can. It is super cool, man. Big fan of Michael Jackson's Thriller music video. Just a big fan of Michael Jackson in general. So my favorite music video of all time. And uh, very cool. We got the Ghostface 1-6 down there with the Ghostface bobblehead. Uh, I know a lot of people were going crazy over the the ghost faced uh one six i'm like damn there's people going crazy like that i guess they're sold out but uh i hopped on it man because it's no it's not no ghost face one six see what i'm saying it's shit like that i don't want to go through as a collector so i try to just get it right that's why i have a lot of shit stacked so next detolf we have one of my favorite looks of chucky we have seed of chucky we got the Seed of, Seed of Chucky doll from Trick or Treat Studios with the amulet DVD in there with them. And this is one of my first pieces I got also. So, Chucky. And then we have... I forget this. His name is like Jamie FX Grove or something like that. I don't want to butcher his name. But this was my Halloween... My Rob Zombie's Halloween mask. And um, I think it's called the, the Zoom or something like that. And this is the mask that I got, but now we have the Trick or Treat Studios mask that I also have that's boxed up. And um, great work, man. I think he does like the paint or something for the movie, the, the, the paint or something. I can't remember. And this is my Valak 1 6 figure, my Valak 1 6 figure with the portrait. And we have Annabelle right there. I made a custom case. That's actually, I want to say, like a candle holder or some shit like that. But, um, yeah, a lot of these pieces, like I said, the Rob Zombie, I have all the Rob Zombie masks. You know, the half mask, the, the ripped, I have the the white, the all white. I just can't, I have nowhere to put this shit. I have a cool Terrifier piece. I just got to get this shit together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, like I said, guys, if y'all want more of these videos, now is the time. Not tomorrow, not no, on this video let me know in the comments yes in the comments let me know if you want more collectible videos do you want unboxings let me know this is the time to say can be looking out in the comments for this video because this is a huge moment right now it's been a long time since i've dived into my horror collection so uh right here i'm gonna just say it right now it's my favorite piece in the collection it's my grill I will never give this up. Um, I love this piece so much. So, so much. Like, literally, let me tell y'all. I look at this piece literally every day when I come in here. You know, film videos for y'all and stuff like that. I literally look at Lori. I'm like, bro, I... shout out to my guy Nag, man. Shout out to Nag. More pieces from him coming soon. But, whew, Jesus, man. Like, on the nose. And he's already, like, you know, no Lori shit out there for real. Like, got a little NECA figure, but he killed it. So... There she is. The details on that. Got a rare postcard to come with the VHS right there under her. What y'all know about that reflective VHS? That's nostalgic right there. And I have Lori, man. Favorite final girl of all time. Lori Stroh, 78. Got the pin in her hair. There she is. And then here's another nag piece. This is Sydney Prescott. This is a smaller scale from Lori, but Sydney Prescott done by Nag. Also, I love this with the Ghostface roll bomb with the VHS and the buck in there with her. So, and then we have this shelf, Tales from the Hood. This is like a cartoon as Clarence Williams. I think it's called like DWN Studios. I don't know if he still makes these, but this is one of my movies that I grew up with and I absolutely love so yeah guys overall like that's pretty much what i can show y'all without digging into a lot um these are the cases once again from my ones i just showed y'all here we go i will show y'all this exorcist 
uh, poster with the lights off. It's nothing too crazy, but I'll show y'all that. And I forgot to show y'all Annabelle. I told myself I was going to wait to the end to show y'all Annabelle and give y'all a little quick story on that. So let me show y'all Annabelle here real quick. All right, y'all. So right now I'm going to show y'all the actress's poster. Like I said, it's nothing special. Uh, I just kind of like, like the face kind of looks a little bit colorful. Um, and I'm going to show y'all the Annabelle case and everything. A lot of y'all ask about that case and Annabelle. So I'm going to show y'all. But first off, here is that poster. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not too much. It's just like, this might not do it no justice. But this kind of like glows a little bit. See what I'm saying? Like the eyes and the white brings it out. It's a black light. So, super cool. But, this right here is my Trick or Treat Studios Annabelle. So, this was the first like Trick or Treat Studios doll I actually got. Um, That's how much I love the Conjuring universe. So, Annabelle. Right there in her case with the Miss Me card and all that jazz. Even has the tarot card right there with the Warner Positively Don't Open. And here it is. That's Annabelle. So, let me tell y'all a quick story about that case, though. So, that case back there, actually, um, I got that from someone on Marketplace. I've been looking for one of those cases since the day I bought that. I was like, I have to take her out the case. I have to have, like, you know, a mimic of that that case. You know, A. Lorraine Warren. I always thought that was cool that they had her in a case in a Warren Museum. And I always wanted to have an Annabelle doll once I got invested into the Conjuring series. So I got one, right? Y'all might think I'm bullshitting, but if you go back and check out the review video, you'll see I'm not. Um, So this, this case right here actually had, you know, like shelves in it. Annabelle with shelves in that case. And I'm telling y'all, bro, and it might sound cringy or like cliche or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I literally cut my finger on glass and it was like a little slit, like right on a nail part. You know, when you cut some shit like that, it doesn't bleed that much. But it was literally leaking, bro. I had to gauze my shit. I don't even use gauze, bro. I usually run to a band-aid. I had to gauze it, bro. Like it wasn't stitch worthy, like stitch or staple worthy, but... It's nothing weird that goes on now with it. I'm just saying, bro. It was a big coinky dink. I never uh, got any injuries putting shit together in the collection until I got Annabelle. And it kind of threw me off, bro. I was froze for a minute. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So, I love Annabelle, though. I wouldn't do anything to Annabelle. Man, like I said, love Annabelle. She's a part of the scary family and everything. So, yeah. So, yeah, y'all. That is the horror collection. You guys asked for it. I gave it to y'all. Finally. So this is the I Like Scary 2024 Horror Room Tour. And like I said, if this video gets a lot of love, I'll go more in depth with everything. But this right here is pretty much, you know, what you see. But like I said, I have a lot of more pieces, man. I have a lot of more pieces in boxes I need to unbox. I have a lot of stuff stacked up that's hiding and shit like that because of space. But uh, yeah, you guys pretty much get you know, the feel of the horror room with this video. And um, like I said, smash the like button. Comment down below if you got any questions about pieces in the collection. Also, um, you know, anything you think that looks cool in the collection, let me know. Which, what's your favorite piece that I showed you guys in the collection? Comment down below. But unfortunately, this is the end of the video. I want you guys to hit me up on my social medias. I like screen on Instagram. I like screen on Instagram on TikTok. Bring it on Facebook. And I like staying on Twitter. And yeah, you all right there where it says subscribe. Next to it, click join and become a member of the channel. I want you all to watch some horror movies. Stay scary out there. I love you all. Peace. Until next time, y'all.